folks, and welcome back to NL Now. I am your host, Gary Weaselton. On today's episode, we have the man himself, the Speaker of House of Assembly here in Newfoundland and Labrador. We have our first Kids Got Talent segment, a trip to Sassy Tuna Studios, and the group of guys who wrote and produced our opening theme music. Before we get to all that, I would like to send out thanks to the crew at Rogers TV, also to Cohen's here in St. John's, for the lovely interview chairs you see here on set. Without you guys, the show wouldn't be possible. Now let's open the show with a group that you may have seen playing around our province and the guys that helped us out with our opening theme music, ladies and gentlemen, the Rolling Kings. Great. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Yes, thanks for coming in and performing with us. <laughs> Let's first tell the folks at home that you guys provided us with our opening theme music, which we really appreciate, by the way. <laughs> now that it is from a new song you just recorded, can you tell us about that? Yeah, absolutely. You want to give it? Sure. In? That's from a song uh, that we wrote called Heart of a Rover and mm -hmm. uh, kind of about a young man growing up and, and seeing the world. And uh, we're really happy to have it be a part of the show. Well, thank you. We're happy to have it be a part of the show, too. So how long have the Rolling Kings been around? And have you guys been here from the start? Or? I have been here from the start. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. we've, I've been on the go with the band since 2009. Uh, Dean joined a couple of years after that, and then we picked up the stragglers over the years from various bus stops, train stations, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, like, oh, well. yeah, we kind of learned that what we learned was Robert was hard to work with, so we just kept replacing members. Very difficult to get along with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So when the time comes to write a new song, who writes the music? Who writes the words? 
That's interesting. That is a good question. Rob has written most of the words of the original stuff, but then, mm -hmm. and kind of comes with, uh, Rob and I worked together on the Heart of a Rover mm -hmm. song. Um, but we kind of brought it all together. We kind of like whatever comes with an idea. Whoever has written it just brings the idea to the band, and then we kind of fill in the spaces all around the song, kind of build it together. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. So if the people at home want to catch up with you guys and see more of your show schedule or find out where to buy your music, how can they get that information? Oh, we are all over the world. We are uh, <laughs> uh, on the internet-wise. Internet-wise, yeah. basically, <laughs> we're East End St. John's otherwise. But uh, no, we have uh, Facebook, Twitter. We just got Instagram, and we have uh, therollingkings.com. Uh, Dean maintains that. I'm assuming all our shows are on there. I haven't checked. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're all up all over the place. Yeah. Okay, folks. So if you want to check these guys out, therollingkings.com or Facebook, Instagram, and all that stuff. Okay, now it's selfie time. Oh, all right. You can grab the stick. I got now. the stick today. Okay. All right. Everyone Get in smile. there, Scott. Smile. Get in there, Scotty. <laughs> Perfect. That's good. That's great. Thanks again, guys, for coming in. We really appreciate I'm here it. We're at Sassy oh, Tuna Studios. Let's go check it out. Okay, so now I am here with Julie. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I love your hair. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing wonderfully. It's a beautiful day out, so I'm happy to be uh, working away at the art. So could you tell our viewers what Sassy Tuna is? Sassy Tuna is a British nickname for somebody who likes to party. Oh. So I was working away at my art for quite some time. I went to five different art schools, and as I was working through things, I realized creativity comes very much from children. So that's how this whole place got started up. So it's quite a busy place. We have lots of, lots of students coming and going, and we do art, and we make video games from scratch. So. All right, so yeah, we're just going to head on to the little back area here. So this is the main area where all of the main mess happens. And in around the corner here mm -hmm. is where we keep our skeleton, and where we have all our fancy books and all that kind of stuff. All right, so we're going to take a look in the... the um, computer room here now. So this is where we make our video games. Okay. So this is Jarrett. Jarrett uh, works with all the students one-on-one -on -one and uh, the, the students create video games with all of their ideas. So you can see there's lots of uh, lots of screens and lots of ideas. So how can people get in touch with you if they want to contact you? If you go to sassytuna.com, that's not sassy tuna or saucy tuna, or all those kinds of funny things. Sassy tuna. Um, you can see that we're at 17 Pippi Place, which is pretty close to the Avalon Mall. Um, or you can call 7 F U N F I N. So that's those are two of the best ways to get a, get a hold of us for sure. Okay, folks. So if you want to get in touch with Julie and the rest of the other sassy tuna people. You can call 7 Fun Fin, F U N F I N, 7. Wait, 7 was first. <laughs> <laughs> or sassytuna.com. Welcome back to NL Now. Thanks for joining us. Up next, we are going to speak with the MHA for Waterford Valley who is also the Speaker of House of Assembly here in Newfoundland and Labrador, the Honorable Tom Osborne. Hello, sir. Thanks for coming in to speak with us. It's That's great nice to have you here. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. So let's start off with you telling us a little history about yourself, like where you were born, where you lived, went to school, and how you got your start in politics. Well, I was born in St. John's. I grew up in St. John's. Um, Went to school at uh, Brother Ice High School, Memorial University, and Cabot College. And uh, I got involved in politics very young, actually. Uh, I used to pip off school to go see uh, news conferences, and uh, the school would call home and ask my mom how come I was not in school, and she'd grill me when I got home, and I'd say, well, I went to a news conference, and she didn't believe me at first, but uh, eventually she started to realize how much I enjoyed politics. Okay, so could you take us through your daily schedule, like your day, like your normal work day? 
Well, I get up in the morning. Uh, first thing I do is uh, help get my uh, children ready for school and, and uh, get them ready. Uh, from the time we go in to work in the morning, uh, dealing with the MHA concerns uh, when the house is not in session, uh, dealing with uh, district concerns and, and helping constituents. When the house is in session, uh, we deal with the issues in the house and, and obviously I sit as Speaker of the House of Assembly so we keep, uh, keep control in the house uh, mm -hmm. during debate. So as Speaker of the House, do you ever feel like you're a teacher up in front of a class with a bunch of unruly students who just won't stop talking? Sometimes, although I have to give credit to uh, most of the MHAs now, they're actually becoming very well behaved. Uh, we brought in some new uh, standards of respect and order and decorum, and most MHAs are doing a very good job of, of being, being more respectful these days. Good, so hopefully you don't have to send one to the principal's office for MHAs. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so how big of a deal do you really think technology plays out with social media as a politician? Uh, well, Twitter and Facebook mm -hmm. uh, more than most other forms of social media. But uh, it, it's becoming more and more a part of, uh, you know, the routine of, of uh, politicians. We have to be involved with social media to a certain mm -hmm. degree. Okay, so if anyone wanted to follow you on social media, could you tell us some of your social media names and stuff? Uh, well, Tom Osborne MHA um, is uh, on uh, Twitter, um, and on, on Facebook, it's just uh, under Tom Osborne. Okay, so I saw you had a personal experience down south with Hurricane Matthew a few months back. Could you tell us a bit about it? Absolutely. We were um, in Florida, and uh, you know the, the hurricane was coming, so we wanted to protect our, our property there. We started to get sandbags and so on. The, the city were providing sand to anybody who needed it, and uh, when we got there, there were a lot of senior citizens, actually, who weren't able to fill their own bags, uh, and, and we stayed for a number of hours helping fill bags for them, so it was, it was actually a very rewarding experience. Yes, so I see you did a bit of volunteering down there, I guess. Indeed. Yeah. Okay, so, um, okay, now we're going to play a little game we like to play with our guests so called Get to Know Me. I'll ask you five questions and you have to answer with the first thing that pops into your head, okay? Absolutely. Favorite food? Asian food. Favorite movie? A uh, Beautiful Mind. Name a song you like to sing out loud to in the car when you're alone. It's the only time I sing alone because I can't sing, but uh, probably a trooper here for a good time. Okay, favorite actor? Would either be Gordon Pinsent or Alan Doyle. And when you get some free time off work, what do you do in your spare time? Spend time with my children. I, I spend a lot of hours at work, so when I do have uh, free time, uh, my wife and I uh, spend a lot of time together and my, my children. Okay, now it's selfie time. So you Perfect. can grab the stick there. Yeah, I'll have to lean in. Okay. Uh, you're not afraid of me. Oh, lean no. a bit closer. Oh, okay, Come okay. <laughs> you're not that scary. All right. There you go. Perfect. Well, thanks again, Tom. Thank you for coming in today to speak with me. Up next, we are going indeed. to premiere our Kids Got Talent segment with Isaac Andrews Power, accompanied by Mr. Dwayne Andrews. Take it away, guys.
was great, Isaac. Great job. So how old are you, Isaac? I am 10. I turned 11 in January. What school do you go to? I go to Bishop Field. Okay, so when did you start playing music? Well, I played piano when I was like six, but I started violin four years ago, three years ago, I think. So you said you play piano. Do you play any other instruments? I play the baritone. Okay. Which is, oh, mm -hmm. sorry, I play the euphonium. Oh. So, is music something you want to keep doing when you get older? Yes, definitely. Okay, so can you tell me some of your favorite artists who you listen to? I don't know. I don't really have a favorite. I like my dad, but I like everyone. Okay. I like my parents, because they're both in the Springing Bells. Now it's selfie time! Okay, I'll get the stick. Here we go. Little, uh, little cuddle in. It's very heavy. Yes. Are in there? Perfect. Thank you again, guys, for coming in. And how about one more tune? Okay. to an end this evening. I'd like to thank all our guests from this evening, Speaker of the House of Newfoundland and Labrador, Tom Osborne, and our Kids Got Talent segment, Isaac Andrews. And, uh, of course, I'd also like to thank the Rolling Kings. Here they are for one more song to close out the show. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rolling Kings. My face is lined and withered by the sun wind sea. 
and watch the cracking bridge. But I drank the Peter Easton on a rock day, northern beach, and he sang, Come we must to the sea. I'll leave the shore behind and go where no one's ever been. No, uh, and this part is for his home. So take the oar and work the ropes with Sam and far from home. My cups. I'm charged with finding sailors here amidst these beardless pups. And a sinker's phrase in three more days, we leave the Spanish main. Is a blood or milk or salt water that's running through your veins? Now I'll say, God, we must